I've put a solution together so you can see this lambda in action. Here we declare a vector of ints, fill it with the numbers 0 through 9, just using a language 4, and then I have a for each call. This is exactly the code that you saw on the PowerPoint. From v.begin until we get to v.end, the square brackets say, hi, I'm a lambda, round brackets, I'm a lambda that takes an integer, and what I do with it is I print it onto C out, followed by a space. And I've got it all on a single line. Let's just run up to this point so you can see the output. It prints out the numbers 0 through 9. Hopefully not a surprise. People often want to debug lambdas and can find it a bit of a challenge, especially when it's all on one line like that. I've got the exact same lambda just written out over multiple lines. And I'm going to show you how to debug through it. I'll step over this line that prints out a line of dashes. And now we are on this function call to the for each. And I'm going to step into the call. And as part of doing the call, we'll be evaluating the parameters that were passed to it, the begin and the end, to start with. Here we are inside the uh, end function that returns an iterator. I'll step out of that and step in again. We're in the begin function that returns an iterator. Step out of that. Step in one more time. And we're actually in the for each that is uh, going to step through the vector, uh, processing each element in turn. So I'm going to step into this. This just has to do with some internals of the standard library that I'm, I'm really not going to discuss. They're fairly, as you can tell, boilerplate. And now here we are, as the comment says, actually performing function for each element. And if we had, were doing this the old style way, func would be print or whatever the name of that function is. But now it is this lambda that we've passed all the way down to here. So if I just flip out, we haven't written anything yet onto the screen. Now if I step in here, you can actually see that the debugger is showing you the code of the lambda. It took a lot of going through some uh, internals of the standard library to get to here, but now we can actually use our familiar debugger controls. That was one iteration, and the zero got printed out. Step in again. Again, I find myself back in my original code, can use the step over controls, can hover over things and see what they are. We're on one. And if I alt tab, now one is on the screen. So if people tell you you can't debug lambdas, you absolutely can debug lambdas, but it takes a little patience when you find yourself in that converting checked and unchecked iterators back and forth and general weirdness to kind of hold on with a little faith, keep hitting step into, you will find yourself in your Lambda code should you need to debug it. Now I just want to carry this on. Let's just run this down to here to show you that a Lambda not only doesn't need to be on a single line, it doesn't need to be a single statement. Our sort of canonical first Lambda has only one semicolon in it. But down here, I have one with multiple statements. And what it does is prints the number out, and then if that number is even, it prints out the word even, otherwise it prints out the word odd. I'm just going to run down to that and show you the output. Uh, hopefully no one's surprised at the oddness and evenness of the numbers zero through nine. But just to show that this lambda, which goes from here to here has multiple lines, multiple statements. You could also debug this and watch control go in and out of the different if or else blocks according to the number we were testing. This is still pretty readable. 